Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke and welcome to your May 2015 Tarot Forecast. Please watch for your sun, your rising, and your moon sign. These are generalized readings for the general public. If you'd like something more in-depth and tailored for you, check my Etsy shop out at Etsy slash Nightbird Tarot for the readings that I offer on Etsy. Also check out my website nightbirdtarot.wordpress.com. I offer live telephone and live Skype readings on that website as well as my blog. Find me on Facebook, Nightbird Tarot slash Facebook, and find me on Twitter, Nightbird Tarot Twitter, Google Plus, add me to your circles, and May marks the one year anniversary of my channel. I debuted it on May 28, 2014. It was initially called Wednesday's Tarot for those that have stuck with me from the very beginning will remember this. It was Wednesday's Tarot. It was every Wednesday. I did weekly readings. I did that for a few months and then I changed my format to monthly readings and my name. So it doesn't seem like it was a long time ago, but it kind of does because so much has evolved since then. I've had a wonderful journey on YouTube. I've met wonderful people. I've kind of been accepted by this community online and it's just been a wonderful experience. So thank you for returning subscribers. Thank you for new subscribers. Thank you of course for your shares and your kind comments that you leave. And thank you for joining me each month where I can provide readings for you to help you find insight into your daily lives. And I'm very grateful that I'm able to provide that for you. So let's get started, Sagittarians. I pre-shuffled your cards right before the video. I haven't laid them out yet. So let's see what's in store for you for the month of May. For the month of May for Sagittarians, you may find yourself either on the receiving end of generosity or being the one who is offering generosity. And your attributes or the elements position that's crowning you for the month of May, you have a card of generosity and it's the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles in particular is very much of giving of alms. It's very much of charitable efforts helping others out, okay, and having the resources and the means to do so. Or other people may also be supporting you or helping you out. And this is on a financial level, okay. There may be gifts of money received or gifts of money given. This is a card of being able to freely give or contribute to other people and having the means to do so. So this is crowning you for the month of May, Sagittarians. So there may be a charitable cause or a charitable effort that you're involved in. This also could be on a personal level as well. So that's what's crowning you for the month. Now following this is a major arcana card and it's the Empress. The Empress is very much associated with motherhood, maternal instincts, fertility, this is a card of creativity. This is a card of stability and joy in the home. This is a card of being taken care of, of comfort, of knowing that you have a place to go to where you can lay your hat and chill out and be yourself. This is a card of comfort and of knowing that you have family or that you have support or that you're even within yourself especially for Sagittarian women. This may be a high time of fertility for you for the month. If you're wanting to achieve uh, pregnancy, this could also be a time of marriage for those that are getting married for the month of May. This is a time of absolute fertility, maternal, motherhood type of attributes. So that's a beautiful card because next to it, which kind of indicates to me either pregnancy or a marriage of some kind is the Three of Cups. When you see the Three of Cups next to the Empress or any kind of fertility card, that's a great indicator 
of pregnancy. So for those out there that are watching, that are wanting to have children, that are trying to get pregnant, this is a high time of fertility for you. This can also be a celebration of the joy of mark, marking a pregnancy or an engagement or a wedding. And this is going to be celebrated by other people. More than one person is going to be affected by this. So keep me posted, Sagittarians. It's very positive. Now following this is another court card. And it's the King of Pentacles. He's very much a businessman. This could be an older gentleman. This could be a father figure. This could be your husband, boyfriend. He's very much associated with what's happening. So, of course, he would play a part in this. But he's very much tied to finance and money as well, going back to the Six of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles can be even a financial person. This could be a banker, a financial advisor. He's very grounded and stable in his environment when it comes to finances and money. He's very smart about his money. And he also could be uh, an affluential or wealthy man. So this person is represented in your reading for the month of May. This could be an actual person in your life or this could be attributes for Sagittarian men that are watching. Now, throughout all this for the month of May, summing up your spread, Sagittarians, is the major arcana card and it's the Hermit. The Hermit is very much a truth-seeking type of card. He's seeking the light on a situation. He's seeking the truth out. This could be a time also for you for the month of really getting down to what's important for you, what's authentic in your life, seeking the truth on spiritual pursuits even. This could be a time of solitary for you, of not so much being a hermit or being holed up in your house by yourself, but wanting to seek out the truth or seek enlightenment in a situation. So there is going to be an uncovering of some kind in your life. Light will be shed or illuminated on an area of your life. So keep me posted, Sagittarians. This could be many things for many people that are watching. So have a great month of May. I'll be back in June. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.